Um, yeah, that's something we knew already from uh, a few weeks ago. Um, they were fantastic and uh, supported us, and we needed it also today. Um, yeah, the match, I think we did it well. Um, 60 minutes, uh, I think we controlled the game. We were um, good with the ball. I think we created a lot of moments around the box, in the box. I think already um, there in the first half, I think we could do a few things better. A few decisions were not uh, perfect to find um, the, the right player to score maybe the second or third goal already in the first half. After half time, I think we, played, we scored a very nice goal to the 2 0. And um, then afterwards, uh, in my opinion, we lost a little bit uh, the, the control of the game. We were not that compact anymore. Normally, in these moments, we are um, very good organized, and uh, it was more a wild, a wild game. Uh, so, with a lot of transitions in both directions. And of course, then it's very good uh, for, for the opponent, especially. When we are not using our, our counter moments to, to, to kill the game, and um, so that's how they, they came back, and then we had to fight until the last second uh, to get the three points. Sick. Hi. Hi. You started Florentino tonight's first start of the season. Why did you go for tonight's instead of the usual choice, Ron Evers? Yeah, there's no usual uh, so, uh, choice. So I think we always have to think about the best approach for each single single match. Uh, Florentino did it very well the whole last season and also in the preseason and also um, last week when he came in at halftime, uh, in my opinion. So that's why um, to have a good balance in the team, we, we, um, we put um, um, Florentino and uh, Orkun in the central midfield. Um, so they did it well. Um, and Joan Neves came from the bench. So I think we always have to think about uh, the, the best starting eleven, the right approach for, for each single match. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, Hi. Uh, the team had some difficult moments in the end of the game. Uh, why can you explain these moments in the end? Yeah, I think, uh, like I said, so of course, um, we always respect also the opponent. They did it well, so they put a lot of effort in, a lot of movement, and um, a lot of players um, always um, trying to, to be available between the lines. And what we missed in these moments were the compactness, also the, the, the togetherness um, against the ball. So normally we are very good in, in, in these moments to give them no no spaces to play forward. I think we were not um, that um, good organized and not all the players were always um, also um, supporting backwards. So for the back back line, for the back four and the cent two central midfielders was a lot of work in big, big spaces and they took a lot of risk. Um, so that's clear when, when you are 2-0 down. Um, and, and then, of course, we had also our moments in the in the, in the counter attacks, but we, we were not able to, to bring one more of these moments to the end, and uh, when you concede 2-0, uh, it's a very dangerous uh, score during the match. If you concede the goal, then everything is possible again. And um, so we had to fight until the, the last second. But um, the reason for it was, uh, in my opinion, that we were not um, tactical-wise not compact uh, enough anymore, and not um, yeah not enough together. Yes, sir. Uh, hi, Roger. Hi. Hello, um, I would like to ask about Petr Mozart and about his behavior since the red card against the Boavish that it was tough came from him individually and the signing of Rutu Cabral, another player to compete for his position and uh, it was installed in the, in, the, in, the, in the 11th today and Petr came from the bench another time like, uh, like he always does with uh, improve, he improves the team and he scored a goal how it's been his, how it's been his behavior and uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's reaction to the signing of the Sorry, I put my English. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the behavior of, of Peter Musa is top. So, in my opinion, he's doing very well. Um, was unlucky that he um, got the red card in uh, in Boa Vista. Um, so that's why we were out last week. And 
Um, so we have three central strikers now with, with him and with Artu and uh, Kasper. So my choice for today was Artu again because, of course, we want to integrate him as quick as possible and uh, to start with him as a central striker, in my opinion, was the right choice. Kasper came in last week. He did it well. So he scored the goal and also not only because of the goal, also in, uh, I think uh, he played uh, well, so he worked hard. And so that was the choice also to give him today the, um, the first chance to play. Um, and then later on, Peter showed again uh, that he is always able to, to do something when he comes in. Even if he has only five minutes, he's able to score a goal. So um, I think it's good for his um, confidence. Um, and uh, yeah, these are always the best arguments to get more match time to start also um, in the starting 11. Um, so I think uh, now we have a good concurrent situation um, this, on this position. And week by week, we have to make decisions. Good night, Roger. Good night. Today you decided to leave Blackwood and lose out of the match again. I wonder why. And also, I would like to ask you you called Marcel Mendes to have three goalkeepers, but you only had two opening in the new arm. Why was that? Thank you. Yeah, we can only have two goalkeepers, or we can have three or four goalkeepers in the squad, but it uh, makes no sense. So we need two goalkeepers. We always, always have a third goalkeeper with us if something happens. So that's uh, the normal um, normal approach uh, of us. And um, yeah, Odi is out of the squad um, because it's, uh, at the moment it's still an issue, and we will see what happens in the last day of the transfer window.